Way to the cage, fighting out of Olive Branch, Mississippi, Cal Rogers! fighters would wear their in the fight in tap, nap, or snap. Here we go. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 130 ready pounds. With a record of five wins and four losses, fighting out of Olive Branch, Mississippi. Representing the fight clinic. Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans, put your hands together for Kyle Rogers. And here's the opponent tonight, fighting out of that red corner from Nashville, Tennessee, with a record of five wins and two losses, weighing in also at 130 pounds, representing pound for pound MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans, put your hands together for Frankie, the baby bull Nufio. Alright guys, 
have instructed during the rules meeting to set nothing less than a hard plain fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourselves at all times. Any questions? Touch them up. Go back to your And your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Mike. Kane.
They fight and I have to say.
Hey, minute 40, Kyle. You have to work. Come on, man. Oh, good. There you go.
I gave it to him. I'm not even got to take down. And I know he worked hard, and I worked just as hard. So, I know he was going to bring it, so I knew it was going to be a tough fight. And it was a great fight. I enjoyed it uh, every every single round. Anybody want to thank out there, friends, family, sponsors, coaches? I want to thank my gym, my coach. Uh, pound for pound, I want to take on all my teammates there. Uh, they're the ones that actually get me ready for these fights. You know, I have to move them around. They're like 170, 180, so... That way when I fight these smaller guys, it's a whole lot easier, but some of them are tough. So I want to thank all the guys from my gym. They all got prepared for this fight. And I want to thank my grandmother. She's one of the people that watches over me. And I want to dedicate this fight to one of my teammates that passed away, Hudson. Uh, you guys are, he's there with us. When we get in these fights, when we get in the cage, he's always there with us. Well said. Congratulations, Frankie. Frankie did you everybody. Kyle Rogers wanted to say just a couple of things. Uh, thank you to Frankie Nupio. Uh, much respect for him and his coaches. Uh, Brandon, they're an awesome guy too. Much respect for them. Uh, this is my last fight before I go into bigger and better things in my life. I'd like to thank everyone at the fight clinic. Uh, over half my fights have been over an hour to you know three hours away. You guys always show up um, every time. I appreciate it so much. You guys know how much it meant to me. I try to give it all for you guys. Uh, Frankie's a real tough guy. I just want to thank everyone, John David Shackford. Uh, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for him. He's a great mentor and friend. You know, I would not be going anywhere in life if it wasn't for him. I'd like to thank all my training partners, Kyle Hughes. Uh, he's a beast. He'll be fighting for the title soon for Summit. I think in February. And uh, I just want to thank all of you guys for supporting me on the show. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Hey everybody, just a quick tidbit. I remember when Kyle first walked into the fight clinic. I was training at the fight clinic. That kid came in 16, 17 years old and uh, showed an extreme amount of heart and determination and love for the sport. He's a great kid. His last fight is because he's joining the United States Navy. So let's give this guy a good hand. Thank you for your service.